There was this one cow that looked so sick. She couldn't even walk. She was like begging to be put out of her misery. And my friend told her professor at the time, you know what, this cow needs to be taken out of production. You either euthanize this cow or you treat this cow. And the professor was like, no, it's fine. And proceeded to inseminate this cow that could barely walk. And that was the thing. Before we went into these farms, we were told, do not make any negative comments. Don't be judgmental because these farmers are opening their doors for you to learn. And if you say something, you might be closing the doors for future students. And so that was a clear message that the relationships of the institution were more important than speaking up for the animal's welfare. There was always this big argument about it is our job to feed the population. It is our job to get animal protein to the indigenous people, right? And so with that argument, you really couldn't say anything about the animals. The animals came second. It was always, we got to feed the poor, which is just, that argument doesn't make sense. When you consider the fact that animal protein needs a lot more land, a lot more water, and a lot more crops than plant protein. And if you were to just feed those plants to people, food would not be as scarce and food would not be as expensive. 